let's talk about some hypothetical numbers. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm thinking one question that some of our listeners may have is, okay, if I get to borrow against my um, whole life policy uh, mm -hmm. that you can help them get set up and structured and all that, let, let, let's do some real numbers here. So let's say, so, so, so let me give you the blanks to fill in and you can give us a hypothetical okay. situation. Give us a hypothetical whole life policy. In other words, someone's going to take out a hundred, you decide in this hypothetical scenario, they're going to take out a hundred thousand, 250,000, 500,000 million dollar, whatever whole life policy. Mm -hmm. How much money have they got to pay in to that whole life policy to where they can actually start borrowing against it? For another word, in other words, have they got to pay in $50,000 to where they could borrow 50,000 back? Or are they able to pay in a smaller amount of money into the policy and they could use that as an asset and borrow a higher amount of money? That's question number one. Mm -hmm. Question number two is how long before they would open or establish a whole life policy before they could start borrowing against it? Okay. So I'll start with the first one. So number one, typically um, in the first couple of years, you won't be able to put in, for example, uh, 50,000 and borrow out a hundred thousand. Typically you'd be able to borrow out less than what you put in in the first couple of years. Eventually it's going to grow. It's a long-term strategy. It grows over time. And that's really where you could borrow more than what you put in in the future. But to answer clearly, number, you know, the first one is that no, you wouldn't be able to put money in and then borrow a higher amount, typically less than what you put in, in the first couple of years. And then you could actually borrow right away. So for example, um, you know, to give you uh, numbers, I worked with a client who put in, you know, uh, $200,000 in cash value in a single premium whole life policy. She put in a one-time payment. Uh, $200,000 and then is able to borrow right away. Like probably I would give it two weeks until the policy gets issued. You get your online account that you can access and see the cash value. About two weeks after that, she can access 90% as a loan out of the policy. So about $180,000 can come out to her and then she could pay this back whenever she wants. Uh, she's actually going to use this to become a private money lender. She's going to loan this out to another real estate investor. And then he's going to give her, uh, of course, you know, she's expecting between like 10 and 15% um, as her ROI on that interest. And then she's going to take that, her profits and then pay the policy loan back. And then also the way we structured this policy was that she could pay, she could put more into the policy than she borrowed. So for example, she takes out $180,000, she, she invests it, she ends up making that 180 into 200,000. She can then take all of that 200,000, put it back into the policy, paying the loan first some of the interest of the insurance company and then whatever's left over from there, her profit, her true profit, she could add it on top of the policy. And then now her cash value is like, you know, uh, 210 or 220, whatever the cases might be. So it's going to go up when you've added more into the policy.